A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So during the night I did a little bit of inventory management and I just realized I'm trying to make a forge. I'll show you guys this. Uh, we have this, we have this, I made an advanced bellows and we have the tunnel but we can't make the, the plate because a forging plate requires like 15 forged iron and we only have one. So we need to look for forged iron. I'm going to see if the trader doesn't perhaps sell some. Unfortunately, we don't have a wrench, so we can't even go and wrench it. Now, the problem is, yeah, without a wrench, we can't do this. And we need a wrench to make the workbench. And we need 25 forged iron. So even though we can make it now, the problem is we don't have the resources for it. Even the mechanical parts. I think mechanical, yeah, we only have three mechanical parts. I wanted to make a few other things as well, um, but we don't even have enough cloth for the duct tape that we need to make stuff. So yeah, at the moment, we are a little bit of a bind. Imagine she was feral. Just jumped to my doom. But how did she make it in here in the first place? She probably crawled through over there because that's the only thing I can actually think of. Okay, but yeah, uh, we have to go and do some quests. Uh, I ate, I drank, I healed myself, so that's fine. But now our goal should be just to get a ton of forged iron and get all the stuff done. So I'm the first going to go for the fetch and then we're going to check the trader. Hopefully the trader actually has forged iron because I think the trader resets every like five days. So the slow resets also been really, really messing with me at the moment. I wonder if I were to loot vehicles, what are the chances of actually like finding a mining helmet or something like that? I mean, look at it. We don't even have all the armor pieces on at the moment, which is really dangerous. Fire extinguisher. We have a really good one. We'll take that. Take that. Scrap armor repair kits. We'll take these. Thank you. But yeah, as you can see, that's actually some stuff that we actually need right now. I should probably also go into the sewer system. It seems they took out that sprinkler thingy that was making all that noise. And he's going to jump up behind me. I don't mind you hitting the car as long as you don't explode the car while I'm standing on top of the car. That's really going to be messed up. He should be able to jump up. He actually was about to walk around and get to me. And then he was like, nah. Okay. Let's go. It is so bad of you. At least we already went for this cracker book, so I'm not going to stop for it. But this fogginess is insane. Can I get lucky and find either a fire axe or a wrench or something inside of these? A working stiff's vehicle like this sometimes does also have tools in just like a uh, tool shop. Nice. I can actually get rid of this one now. Hello, hello. There's no point in carrying around the weak one because if I repair it, it's going to be a level one. If I repair this level 300, it's going to be level 200. So it's way more worth it keeping this one. I'm hoping I find a few POIs that have like backpacks and stuff inside. Because like I said, that's what we really, really, really need right now. I'm also terrified of when the Horde Knight's going to be. So far, yeah, I have no idea. Is this the... I don't, I don't know if this is the POI we're supposed to do. Pistols, forge your head... Oh, we need to find salvage books. I was about to say, how can we get the salvage tools up? Because we're not, we don't have any salvage tools. But you get that up by reading books. I need to read 17 more of the salvage books, though, to be able to get it up, unfortunately. So that's a lot of books. Please give me some actual mineral water over here. Unfortunately, just drinking normal water is going to make us sick. We need mineral water. The fact that I have to put a torch down during daytime to see the zombies is just insane to me. It's a shame. I wonder if you can also sometimes uh, wrench these, or not wrench, uh, harvest these bodies. See, it only gives you that stuff. I wonder if it's also possible to harvest bodies to get like a small chance at something that they might be holding. For example, a mining dude might be uh, holding like a mining helmet. Need to be careful. We can't afford to be stuck inside of here with the zombies outside. Ooh, that was nice. We're starting to get more and more and more steroids, which is really going to help us out. It's a little bit dark over here, but I have my torch inside now. Technically, since we know this mod is so tough, I should only be focusing on grabbing the 
Fetch and that's it. I shouldn't even have to worry about all the other zombies and stuff. Even inside this place, run through all of them, grab the fetch, and if you can kill everyone, kill everyone. Awesome. If not, then at least you have all the stuff. Okay, we'll go through this place after. For now, we have to make sure we clear it. Hello, big guy. I should probably also make sure they're not feral before I even just go and attack them like this. I'll grab all this over here as well, the clay. Hello, big boy. Firefighter. I'm hoping she sticks her head through so we can actually go and grab her. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello. He should bleed to death. Let's just help her out. And then over here... Oh, I've, I was really hoping this would be like a hidden stash or something. Well, we do need cloth. I'm gonna have to make sure that every now and then we also just do this. We so desperately need a cloth and the twine and stuff. I know there's something that's gonna require quite a bit of twine, but <laughs> until we actually have all of it that we need and need to make it then, I, I will keep forgetting what it was. It's so easy to forget. I mean, it's been a few episodes since I wanted to make something, so that something by now is a mystery. Hello, Darlene. Bye-bye, Darlene. And that painting is skew. Oh, can you sell these paintings? I think you can, right? It would be cool if we could actually get the paint out of them. No, we, don't, we can't. No sell price. Uh, there's dudes down there. I'm thinking... Yeah, we're supposed to go through the window. But I'm going to just put the torch away so the zombies outside don't really see me. I think we can loot those containers over there again. Because I looted them before we started the quest. So those will have reset just now. I need armor. At least not heavy armor. As you guys know, I am a light armor guy. Unfortunately, heavy armor is just, well, too heavy. I wonder if you can pick this up. Oh, you can. Wait, what? I didn't know that. So I could have had way more torches way sooner if I had known that. Okay, so we're going to do that. That's awesome. So we can actually pick those up. I did not know that at all. See, if I didn't actually just test that, I would not have known that at all. Uh, there's definitely going to be a zombie around the corner. This thing? I think you can only get leather out of it if you destroy it this way. Oh, leather strips. Not bad. And I just completed a uh, something. Craft survival journal. Journal. Oh, I left my personal crafting station at the other place. So we have to make... Oh, yeah. These are quests and stuff that you can do, right? Survival journal. This is the one we have to make right now. But we do need the personal craft station. And for some reason, I left it all the way behind. You just know there's going to be another zombie somewhere. Hello. Oh, he aggroed just now. Just fight them outside. But I can actually see a little bit dark in there. Sometimes when they don't stumble at all, that's when they surprise me the most. That's supposed to stumble the hell out of them and that gives you a chance to then go and smack them in the face again. But if you hit them and they don't stumble at all and they just smack back, that's when they do the most damage sometimes. I'm only going to start taking resources right now. Because like I said, we have enough uh, trash bags. The thing that we really... Oh, I'm ripping this uh, cardboard off. The thing that we really need right now, though, is the cloth. So I'm going to go through this place again. I'm going to make sure we grab all of the cloth we come across. Gun store box. Give me something good. Come on, come on, come on. I also need to make sure that we repair our tools and stuff before they break. For those of you that don't know, don't know in this mod, if it reaches zero, your, your ability on a weapon, it breaks completely. So before then, you have to go and make sure you repair it. Pie baton, thank you. We might be able to use those later, but I'm getting more and more encumbered. We do have the steroids, which is awesome. It's in the last 12 minutes, so I wonder if I shouldn't take it. 
basically, we should be able to get some backpacks inside a school like this because there should be lockers. It is a school after all. It's, uh, it's not perhaps the um, high school and stuff, but it should still have some back uh, backpacks or at least lockers. Okay, it seems we can get through. No, that's locked, locked. Where are we supposed to get in? Oh, over here. Um, please, I need backpacks. Imagine the first one we search actually has a backpack. That'd be awesome. Oh, yes! Now what we do is we read it. So at the moment, wait, why am I? Oh, the steroids, I wouldn't be able to see. I have to wait for the stairway to run off before I can actually take that. I want to see the things open up for me. Please, I need more backpacks. I need way more backpacks. Used to hoping they didn't make it like super rare. I mean, just now I was lucky. <laughs> saying, what are the chances of finding it in the first lock uh, locker and I actually find one? Oh, nice, nice, nice. So that we are gonna wear. For those of you wondering, I am using shortcut keys. If you look behind the stuff that says read, for those of you guys new to the game, you might not know this. But if you look at this, for example, these are all the keys on the keyboard you can press to help you out. That's outside, not gonna go for the trash right now. I'm only interested in backpacks. That might actually be worth it later. Okay, he got mad. Unfortunately. Damn it. If only I can find the mining helmet light, that's gonna help us so much. Instead of having to place stuff down every now and then, we'll just be able to go for it. Okay, this is almost broken. Now it's broken. Ash registers open, there's nothing there. Jailbreaker candy, candy bar. These also spoil, don't they? Let's just buy one. And they don't spoil. Nice. I also saw that the icy things, these guys, don't spoil. But I don't want to waste all my cash right now. Hello. I have to make sure I go for those headshots. As you can see, these businesswomen mean business. The amount of HP they have. Ooh, one skill point is very nice. Okay, stamina. Why are the women so much stronger than the men? All the female zombies have like four, five hundred HP, but the men have like a very low amount. Hello, little office lady. Crap. Come on, spider. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, I have an ergonomic grip. At least the schematic one. Ooh, that was way too close for comfort. If it wasn't for these steroids right now, we would be so screwed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mineral water. I've noticed A21, they give you more of the crappy water. Um, we can scrap that, right? Grab that. If I can find two more backpacks. That's my goal right now. Just two more. I think per backpack you open up three slots, so that's not much. And then like I said, at the end, after you've opened up all of that slots, um, you have to combine, I think, ten more to make something else. Oh, level 700 spear. You know, that was possible that I... Something's gonna fall out the roof. Yep. Steroids last seven more minutes. I need to be out of here by then. And also, this knife is about to break, so I have to be careful of that. It seems the more left clicks I do, the, the more it actually helps. I think my problem was power attacks. With left clicks, you can do more attacks before running out of stamina. So you can get your skill up further, faster, because you're using it more. You're, you're smacking them more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Come on, one more, one more. I, I'm only looking for three right now. That's nine slots. Ah, oh, come on. 
You can do it. Uh, the roof is going to be super dangerous. So I have to be careful. And I don't mean even in the roof. I mean like on top of the roof. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's another thing. We have to loot the tables because if we can get 20 ink, we can make ourselves a mining helmet light. Or rather, first the schematic, then the light itself. Okay, I think we've already killed the zombies inside of here. Okay, so I should probably also go this uh, salvage tools. Nice, two points. Automatics, two points. Grab that one. Read, read, scrap. And we have to take some water because our water is getting really, really low. Unfortunately, since our... Since we're using the steroids, uh, because our water is now so low, our stamina is going to run out while facing zombies. So if you want to make sure you can actually face those zombies, you have to make sure you are able to actually swing your, uh, your sword, your knife. Come on, there doesn't seem to be any more lockers, but there seems to be a lot of books inside. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is an office that, yeah, office worker. I only now saw that the name actually says office worker. I mean, this so far has been super worth it just because of the two backpacks. The moment the steroids run out, I'm going to try and read them. Please, no dogs. Please, no dogs. Okay, there's a fireman over there. I should probably close that door too. Anything from downstairs interferes right now. We have a problem. I think there's supposed to be a vulture over here as well. So we need to be careful of that. Nice. No vulture, right? Did I just manage to clear this POI? Nice. I mean, our whole goal was just to make sure we get the backpacks, and we have gone above and beyond that, so that's awesome. Come on, give me your arrows back. Only one arrow after all of that. Damn. I'm actually just going to start doing this, um, and then every now and then just make myself new tools. Because if I have to go and rip it off, it's going to take too long to rip these off. If there's like a ton of boxes and we don't want to lose the durability on the weapon, awesome. But if there's too many of them and uh, you know your axe is going to break, just rip it off. Or if your axe is very low, then rip it off. 2 minutes 43 still of this steroid left. Should see if I can't get to the trader. Oh, yes. I should see if I can't get to the trader before it runs off completely. Come on. I have 2 minutes 20 to get to the trader, hand this in, then get to the base and drop everything off before the steroids run off. Oh, yes! And then we should be good to go. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Uh, although, I do want to check out these. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, no. Don't drop down there. That's going to be dumb. Okay, so now I just have to run back to the base. And hopefully, there's no zombies that's going to get in my way while I'll do so. I need to be careful not to break my leg when I jump like that. Imagine the sprained leg right now. Damn. Because there's normal walking zombies outside, not feral. So I want to hand this in before they get up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, pipe bombs. Definitely for Horde Knight. Any more jobs? Passing gas, fats, foods, Malone residence, new life. Let's go for this one. Okay. Once again, you still have nothing over here, right? Flashlight. I wonder if I shouldn't... I think we actually might have a flashlight already. Vehicle Adventures, Forge Ahead, we don't need these, and then Forged Iron. I'm actually going to buy all the Forged Iron because we need that. You come now I can make a Forge, so now we can finally make a workbench after that. Oh, I noticed that the blocks turn red around your item, whether it be weapon or tool, when it's about to break. So over here, you can see these two are super low, so now they're turning red, the blocks. I was wondering last time when I saw the red what that meant. I can make that other plates. Oh, and we are encumbered. So if I read this, it's up to the... If I unlock backpack slots. Just one. Wasn't that supposed to... Okay, it's up to the water right now, right? Only two slots per... Are you kidding me? 
But yeah, they might be ferals and stuff, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take the steroids again just to move. I thought the backpacks give you three slots, but that only gives you two. That is so not worth it in the moment. Okay, I'm gonna I'm actually just gonna drop this off, see if you can make the plates. Um I need to make the journal as well while we are. So the journal, the plates, and then I need to make a forge. Inside of here. Okay, so we grab these. Make the journal first. Survival journal, what do we need? In paper. Okay, survival journal, there you go. So I'm guessing that's going to give us quests and stuff. And then we have to make ourselves the... Quest recorder. Okay, I have to make myself this over here now. Forge... What's it called again? Forging plate. Four plant fibers. We should actually have some plant fibers over here. One, two, three, four. And forging plate. So in 10 seconds, we'll be able to use that. I need to grab this. I'm so encumbered. It makes it really, really hard. It's tough to actually grab stuff if you don't know what you can and can't take. Damn, finally, finally, finally have the forge. And now we can actually go and put the resources in there as well. That and that. I think we have some more iron somewhere over here. And those zombies are busy breaking in so badly. I need to be careful. Okay, so I need to do that. Where's my knife? I could use my pistol, but I don't really want to waste the ammo right now. If only there were more zombies, I'd actually go and... Oh, they're in. I was about to say, if there were more zombies, I'd actually... Oh, that's a feral. I'd go and throw a Molotov. Okay, so I have to kill this one first. Before the feral gets back. That was bonus damage, and that barely did any damage at all. I have to literally walk backwards while doing a power attack so he can't smack me. It seems there's definitely a boost worth running in on the asphalt of here. When I run on dirt, I'm slow. When I run on this, I'm fast. Okay, that's a massive car park. I'm not going to go in there right now. Literally only lockers and with the quest right now. That's all we have to focus on. Stopping for anything else right now would be really, really bad. It's unfortunate that we had to use that steroid, though. Because now that we're not carrying anything... Although the steroids do give like a 10% run speed. So th that's the only thing that's actually really helping with at the moment. If it wasn't for the steroid, I'd actually be slower than this. Are those boxes worth it? I think there's going to be vultures over there, so it's not going to be worth going for it now. But I know that pure eye in itself is actually really worth it. <gasps> oh, the school... Um, yeah, let's go into the school. I'm basically just going to run around. Um, I think I'm going to do this. If I can burn them, I'll burn them. But I'm literally just going to run around inside. We have this run boost right now, so it's going to help us move. Some coffee, perhaps, as well. Oh, don't have enough cash left. That is unfortunate. I need to be careful that the zombies inside aren't feral. Because this is a high-level POI. At least as long as I interrupt... I can interrupt myself by pressing E... Oh, yes! Oh, we already had one. Um, I can interrupt myself by pressing E again so we don't have to uh, finish looting. So if something attacks us while we're inside the looting uh, menu, you don't have to finish it. You can just do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What I should probably do is see if I can't put a uh, ladder next to the, uh, the container and then stack up on it. So I can literally stand on top of the lockers right now and I don't have to face the zombies. And they are in my way. Oh boy. I have to get all of them over here so I can actually go to that locker that side. I'm playing with my life right now. 
There's so many zombies over here. Damn. Oh, crap. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. This is dumb. This is officially dumb. I need to actually make sure we throw a Molotov at all of them over here. It gives them a slight chance to get closer if I just wait a little bit before I throw the Molotov. Because the ones in the back will also get hit. Luckily, fire goes through blocks and we don't have to worry about it not burning them. Oh, there's a zombie behind me. Yep, too close. So because the fire goes through the block, I can just throw it at the block and we don't have to even worry about opening up the door. I want to see how this looks. Yeah, most of them are dead. Did you burn? Yeah, you're almost dead, but these guys are not. See, I want to make sure we get all of them into this one uh, corner over here. I can climb on a locker and then I can just throw a Molotov down at them. If he thinks this is on fire, he's going to give us more light so we can actually see him. Nope. These guys are a little bit slow. I'm trying to get all of them into one spot. So it's easier to throw that Molotov. Okay, now we have to go upstairs for more lockers. Nothing in there. Might be some schematics in here. We're looking for the book schematic. And any other schematics that we might really need right now. And I mean ink. If we can get ink, that would be amazing. I need to be careful because if the zombies don't die from that fire, they're going to aggro. Especially the big tourist dudes. They have so much HP that if they aggro, we're screwed. <gasps> oh, yes, beehive. That was a really great find just now. Now I can make my own beehive. And look at this. This dude has so much HP. It's hard to burn him. We also have to be careful of the zombies falling from on top. There's definitely going to be some zombies upstairs as well. And the, the higher up we go, especially towards the final room, we'll definitely be getting too many zombies to deal with. I don't like the fact that we're wasting Molotovs right now, but we have to. Come on, 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 come on. Can you fall down for me, please? If you fall down, then it'll uh, give me a chance to just really get all the books over here. Although it does seem like they're going... Oh, yep. Oh, come on. You almost did it. Come on. See, these things have five seconds worth of looting time. So in that time, these zombies get quite close. Please don't destroy the books. Please don't destroy the books! Oh, nice, 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 nice. Because I was... Oh, but there's crap inside. Because I was looting it beforehand, that just helped. I'm gonna get stuck on stuff if I'm not careful. I should just kill these guys and then they be done with it. Now that I'm not killing them, if I die or if I do something dumb and get stuck, I'll regret it. Oh, you can do that with the books! Yes, I forgot about that. But only with the stashes, not with the bookcases. Okay, she's gonna bleed to death. I need to be careful of wandering wards and stuff as well. We haven't seen any yet, but that doesn't mean there's not going to be any. I have to basically go up and then down again now to get the rest of the bookcases. Oh, also, the knife needs repairs soon. Do I have my repair kits on me? No, we don't. At least we do have the stun baton. So if you really, really need to use a weapon, we have that, but the knife is way better. See, basically, if you drop the book, uh, shotguns, if you drop, uh, drop the uh, the book that you're reading, or just like not interact with it anymore, it immediately goes and at least um, makes a backpack. And the backpacks are insta loot. Unfortunately, you can't do the same with these because they're actual proper blocks. But now at least we know if we can see more books like that, it's going to help. Sledgehammers, I need the repair tools. 
We really, really need the repair tools right now to be able to make that range for the workbench. Okay, so the roof is dangerous and there's going to be vultures. Oh, no. That is a dangerous zombie. I have to see if I can't lure him away. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think I was going to be... I knew it was going to be tough for this side, but facing a mutated, damn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's going to sprack my leg. Damn it. Yeah, I'm taking such chances now just for two more slots in my backpack. But those two more slots really do help so much. I'm going to have to jump down and out as soon as I can. Okay, you are over there. You are over there. Crap. Move, 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 move. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Okay, I literally jump down after this and then just go. I can't afford to die right now just because I'm taking dumb chances. It would be awesome though if I can just find one more backpack. There's a spider close by. Damn it. I was really hoping that I'd be lucky right now. Okay, so I'm going to put that. Well, 52 is better. And there's a wolf somewhere. That is not good. I could sell that, but I'm just going to make space for now. We do need the cloth anyway, so why not? Oh, that's way better. That's so much better. And then that we can put on our knife so it breaks slower. No, we can't. Hello, hello, hello. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's all I need to do. I just, I'm just going to run away. You don't have to face them, although the vultures see me now. So they're probably going to chase me off the roof, which is bad for us. I'm encumbered by five items, so to be able to run away from them is going to take some finessing. Okay, so this place, the final stash I think is down below. I'm just going to do the fetch, though. The final stash might be worth it, but I need to get back before it turns nighttime. Fetch is up here. Inside, okay. I need to be careful because the floor does cave away. Hello. Yeah. Fall through the floor, please. I don't want to deal with all of you guys right now. There's a bunker thingy underneath. I need to also see if I can't loot the workbenches. So if I get stuck back in, I'm screwed because I just made sure that I fell down in this hole. So you fall down over here and then you are stuck downstairs. But you can just run past. You don't have to go down there. The final stash is down there though, so it might be worth going down. You can actually make it down there by going underneath over here. Since it's so dark, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna chance it right now. Especially since it might encumber us and then we can't get back. Bye bye, zombies. Okay. Many thanks each day. Five monotops for Horde Knight. I need to see if I can't make a pipe a machine gun or something. I should be able to do that by now. And the forge should be also uh, almost done crafting with those resources. Um, I think we have a flashlight somewhere, so I'm not going to... Well, I can't buy it anyways. Cobble. 200. Yeah, I'll take the cobble because we will we'll be able to upgrade stuff later. But for now, guys, Horde Night. Thank it's now it's uh, Saturday at 9 o'clock or 9 p.m. And Horde Night is basically in 25 in-game hours from now. So I don't think it's going to be next episode. Next episode, we'll still be able to just get ready. I might even be able to take over this BOI, but there's so many things at the back where they can get up. So I think that rooster bowling over there is going to be the best choice. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst Insanity.
Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.